This government meeting is brought to you by Eastworks and our local cable subscribers. Oh, today is what, Wednesday, January 11th, and we're going to call the uh, Southampton Finance Committee Council, whatever, meeting to meeting, meeting to order. <laughs> And it's finance council in Westfield, so that's why I'm oh. like, eh. Um, we have a few PRFs, right? These are PRFs. Um, to sign today, and that's kind of why we're meeting. The first one is for uh, a replacement for a youth librarian, an assistant to the director. Um, uh, Barbara Golden, the previous library director, had retired. And then Johanna became the new library director. Congratulations. Thank you. And so now we need to replace her. Um, so I don't know if you guys, I just grabbed these out of the box. I yeah, didn't actually. Yeah, I already saw it because I was yep. on the. Oh, you did So, yeah, no, we are good. So, um, yeah, so this is for the rest of the year. That's right. Perfect. So someone would need to make a motion to accept and approve. I move that we approve the PCF. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> so <laughs> it's easy. I know it's really actually interesting to see the process and to have been a part of it. And so I'm, I'm fine with it. My bad. Last week I posted the meeting, so I'm like, okay, we'll just meet on Zoom. And then I went to get a Zoom link, and Ed was like, well, you have to do the Zoom link on the agenda for 48 hours. And I was like, oh. That's yeah, I yeah, guess I didn't down. even dawn on me. That's even true with the trustees, I think, of the library. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, okay, well, we'll just meet for Zoom, and I'll just get the link from him that day. So I don't, and I almost did the link myself. <laughs> I mean, it would have been nice if he mentioned that when you posted it. Oh, yeah. Or somebody did, you know. Yeah, I just but. didn't even think that. It's posted, so. Hmm. Um, so I will give this back to, uh, I'll give this back to Ed. Okay. And then he'll do whatever he needs to do with it. Thank so. you. Thanks for putting me at the top of the agenda. <laughs> <laughs> I know why we're here, just to come. <laughs> and stay safe. Yes, you too. Okay, thank, thank you. you. So I guess we have a couple more here. Um, this is for Council on Aging Backup Driver. Mm -hmm. It's just so, a fill-in person, yeah. so. And it's coming out of the FRTA grant, yeah. so easy enough. Um, Make a motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 have one more here. Oh, wow. Um, I guess the pol police chief was looking for a new dispatcher. Um, there was a resignation and um, Let's see, Ian wrote a letter. If you. Well, there was a full timer that resigned, yep. but is staying on part time. Yes. But they need to post the full time. They need to post time. the full time. The emergent, so the dispatcher local 118 has voted to accept pay and benefits to commensurate to experience. So I hope the boards will accept this offer and effort to encourage experience public safety right. tell them communication. Um, so it's somebody that already has some experience, so the pay is not Hopefully. going in at the entry level. Correct. Yeah. Which. But still within the range. Yeah. The, I mean, the union has to approve it, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which um, we have a letter from Cheryl, because she's the president of the union, Cheryl Kelly. Oh. Um, Gerald Magdalene used to be so. Um, so she gives her letter about why she thinks it should be increased. And then this is the resignation of Christina. And then this is the posting. So if you guys want, you probably already saw all that. So. Um, <clears throat> Do 
So there is probably enough money. I mean, Bradley signed off on this for the increase, but also if they get reimbursed from a grant for this, they'll get reimbursed at whatever rate they pay um, from the E911. They get a, a grant every year for um, dispatchers. So um, there'll be, there should be enough money because they'll take the money that they've already paid and move it to the grant. So that will free up some extra money in that line item for, you know, if they had to pay extra if they were a little tight. But um, so there's the post, there's the CF. I actually didn't see the letter from and Ian usually is pretty meticulous yeah about, I mean he did come to the meeting but I didn't read that yeah he's usually meticulous about making sure everything is all set and there's enough money and all that other good stuff it's hard to find dispatch people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we go through a lot in South Hadley too It's going to be one for highway, but I guess not. No. I thought that's what Ed said in his original email that he had. I see that. Yep. I don't remember. <laughs> when he sent me, and he said, "Oh, I put the originals in your box," and I thought there was a. Well, this is for a budget. So they're just saying that the upper range is going to be higher, not necessarily that they're going to hire at the upper range. Right. right. I think that they want to post it, but they want to be able to offer someone who might apply that already has experience a higher rate of pay than coming in at the entry level, you mm -hmm. know, so that we can fill it hopefully more quickly and not have to do all the training. Mm -hmm. So they would give them, because the union would agree to that, they would give them, if they had five years of experience, give them their five years of experience instead of starting them off on year one. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, no, I was just looking at the upper range. So we're moving the upper range from 43 to 45? Um, I think that that's... Oh, so this is probably the base. Yeah. And then if yeah. they work overnights or evenings, they probably then included that in there. But yeah. like the but the person who resigned had been here twenty years, so she obviously was in the upper range mm -hmm. anyway. So. Yeah. Yeah, so that's how I would gather like their regular their regular salary if they just worked their forty hours and they're done. But if they worked like overnight or mm -hmm. second shift or whatever, they would get those differences is he probably built that in here when he put those numbers together. So the process for these, it goes to the accountant first, right? Mm -hmm. Who says, yes, there's money there. Then it goes to the personnel board. Mm -hmm. Then it goes to the select board. Well, it's supposed to come here first. Here, here, and then the select, select board. board. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it seems like we should only really have to sign off on new positions or if there's like a drastic change in pay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if it's somebody leaves and they're just filling the slot with with the same range and the money's in the budget, which is already approved by the accountant, and then why do we have to also yeah. approve it? They have more knowledge of what's in the budget mm -hmm. than we do right now. Yeah, like like this Johanna's old <clears throat> position is, is is a perfect example. Like they got to fill that spot. This is what's in the budget. That's what you can hire for. Right. You know, unless something comes through where. We only want them to work, you know, 20 hours. We want to pay them 50 bucks an hour or something like that. Then you'd be like, well, wait a minute. What's what's the mm -hmm. story? But it would get caught at PPPB anyway, mm -hmm. you know, or the accountant or the select board. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the accountant might not question it. They might just check. Oh, yeah, there's enough money. Unless mm -hmm. it's a new position, like Unless the conservation position. agent or, yeah. the, you know, like something that was a brand new position that we. Yeah, yeah so. Um, all right, I move, make a motion to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, so Donna and I were talking about future meeting dates. Yes. 
And I was saying that the, the earlier that I can get stuff on my calendar, because I know we were saying that it gets it gets busy as we get closer to the budget mm -hmm. stuff, right? So the, the sooner that I can get stuff on my calendar, the easier it is. But I don't know that it works that way for you. It seems like you're better with last minute. <laughs> well, it depends. Like, I this was the first time we actually had dinner in the past three weeks because we have basketball every <laughs> I, yeah, night. I hear you. Because Joe plays and Julian yeah. plays. And then now that they're finishing the negotiations in Westfield with the union contracts, I have to get the money transferred, so I have to go to city council, then I have to go to finance, I have to go back to city council. And sometimes the finance meetings are posted. I don't find out about that they want me to come until like two days before. So I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, great, which is fine. <clears throat> but yeah, we probably should, I should be better about scheduling stuff. It's just all of a sudden I'm like, I can do this, I can't do this. Like, you know, like, you know, it's, it's just kind of crazy. Yeah. So we actually had dinner today today <laughs> like a real dinner we didn't like you know do something on the fly Mine's in the oven right yeah. <laughs> um yeah it's kind of crazy well they both had practice early so luckily enough that worked tomorrow i gotta go to williamsburg to practice mm -hmm. and they both have games ready but we will not be going to renaissance in springfield because <laughs> they have one at home yeah against amherst anyway um yeah so in budget season um, is going to be super busy for me, but not till we probably won't start meeting with the finance till like May, maybe end of April. So um, in in Westfield. Oh, really? That yeah. late? Huh? Depends. Uh, or we usually like to be wrapped up by the beginning of May, but it all depends on when the finance council from the city council wants to meet and go over the model of the department. So I think we should, you know, <clears throat> if we're gonna kind of do like we did last year and do the bigger departments mm -hmm. with the jointly with the select board. Yeah, that would know, be helpful. Try to coordinate that. It just makes it easier that mm -hmm. we're all we all hear the same information mm -hmm. at the same time and um, so then maybe just try to, like we did last year, meet with some of the smaller departments individually that either don't really have many changes or... Mm -hmm. Or they don't have a large budget but they want to make bigger, ch you know, they want to drastically change some of their stuff, like line items or whatever. Um, Do you think that we could schedule like a regular monthly, like second like Tuesday or whatever? Yeah. Um, just to like have it and then if we don't need it we can yeah i can just go in and, and yeah we and did just post i don't them remember all. what did we used to do we used to have because p pqb was the third was thursday. thursday so we were meeting on monday following week so that if they signed anything then we were meeting right after yeah. to approve and then if we met on a monday the select, select board, board would, would meet on tuesdays, tuesdays. not always the next Tuesday, but usually it would fall that way. So mm -hmm. that, um, yeah. So maybe it would be good to go back to the the fourth Monday. Yeah, I Although, think that's I don't know if that worked for John because of school committee or something. Yeah, but we could set up. Just I could just go into my town government and set them all up, and so that they're there. You know, just post them yeah. and then do, put the agendas in later. But that way, they're posted um, and write a like a skeleton. Put a skeleton agenda in, so at least you know if something were to. Yeah. You know. um, well. I mean, I don't know that we need to meet. So the fourth on January is the twenty third, already, mm -hmm. because there's five Mondays in January. But I don't know that we want to wait until the twenty seventh. I mean, I think that if we post a date, when are budgets due? I mean, um, did Ed said something he out? He sent this out. Um. Oh, so he, I guess I, maybe he emailed this to me? I don't know. He wanted them by Friday, January 13th at the latest. 
So he sent this out the end That's of this December. Yeah. That's Friday. I mean, ours is going to be um, just the expenses for the membership to the MMA or finance committee, and then the other piece would be the um, reserve. Well, I think we should probably definitely set a meeting for the 27th of February if that works. But in the meantime, do we do the fourth or the last? The fourth. Okay. We had been doing the fourth, yeah. Does that work for you or not? Yeah, I think Monday nights are okay in general. I mean, maybe we should, I mean, I don't really care what night it is, honestly. Tuesday, some Tuesdays aren't good for me, but. No, Monday's actually fine. So um, I attended the Housing Authority meeting on Monday, and they do the second Monday from 6 to 7. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mondays are better because City Council meets Thursday, and usually Finance will meet Tuesday or Wednesday before. And so do, they, do they meet? Every other week. Every other Tuesday. Yeah. And it's not necessarily that I have to go all the time, but yeah. it seems to be more frequently. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm fine with the fourth. Monday. Okay. Mondays. Yeah. But whether we, whether we need to, or whether we can wait six weeks for the next meeting remains to be seen. Well, do we want to do the 30th? Just Right. That's what I was thinking. And then go and to the fourth after that? Right. Okay. And then if there's nothing on the 30th. Like, it might be too early to try to meet with mm -hmm. any departments, but if it's not, we could do one or right. two meetings of smaller or departments. Even if there's just like stuff like this. So. Yeah, 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 right, mm -hmm. right, but. Yeah. All right, so January. So the 30th and then the fourth one yeah. after that. Yeah. That sounds good. So the 27th. And seven, is that? Yeah, I mean, I think if we have a night that, if we There's have a, a few meetings or what, a few departments coming we could in, we could earlier. meet a little earlier, depending, but seven is okay, I guess. But then, <laughs> it will be lighter by then, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Mondays will be better anyway, because my husband starts, he's taking some classes in his classes in person on Wednesday, so okay. well, I guess the kids can fend for themselves. <laughs> it's nice <laughs> when they're old enough to do that now. Yeah. So, motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.